really love this school. It feels like a home to me and the people I work with are amazing. I mean, I think this staff works so hard for these kids. It is a tough school, but it is rewarding when you see the child hit their growth and their potential. That makes it all worth it. The piece about this program that, that helps you understand its impact is, is more than just in the gym when they're working together. Just that connection grows beyond and it's contagious. East Garner Magnet Middle School is definitely a tough job. We're a Title I school. At one point when I taught here, I think 25% of my class was homeless. Um, so definitely it's a tough school, but like this is, I mean, this is my home school. I've been here for eight years and I'm hoping to be here for the rest of my career. When I first started, classrooms were called emotionally disturbed ED classrooms. We're now ECS class, which stands for Extended Content Standards. It's not defining that they're different because they have a disability. It's more defined that they're different because they have a different learning curriculum. I, like I said, I came here eight years ago and we had PE and we wanted to create this like a PE class or something. We just didn't know what to call it. Um, and I went to, I think, like a Wake County meeting and they were talking about Unify and I was like, that's what it is. That's what we wanted. We just didn't have a name for it and we didn't know it existed. Unified PE is at our school an elective class where our special education students are paired with a um, general education buddy. Special Olympics North Carolina was able to help us get off the ground as we were starting. Um, so now in East Garner Magnet Middle School is a Special Olympics Unified Champion School. There was a moment when um, our kids went to Special Olympics and the whole school came out and we clapped for them. <laughs> Sorry. And I'm not a very emotional person, so. But it was just really a powerful moment that, you know, like, wow, they really are recognizing these kids. And from that time, we've had a really good experience. And then COVID changed everything. It was, COVID itself was a struggle. So you could tell that they, they missed seeing each other. Like, it, it wasn't the same. Um, we did continue PE. It was virtual. Ms. Duvall did a PE class with the kids. Pre-COVID, I was never like technology person. Like I never felt comfortable with it, but then COVID hit, so we had to, right? We had no choice. Um, and so I decided that we were gonna make our own videos. Jen Duvall made a ton of videos. I think she made me be in a couple of them. She did a really good job adjusting to teaching PE online. They did their exercise, but the ability to interact with the different kids and to play, hang out with their friends, those things, we lost the social aspect. Um, but we could, we could see how much the social separation bothered them. So, you know, bringing back these programs have been a very positive thing. Once we started with PE and as a unified champion school, it really has opened doors to other things at our school that our kids can be involved in. So this is the second year that we've had um, the inclusive art class and I love it because I love having them in here. Like they're always just so excited to come in and so happy and willing to just try anything and everything. The ability to be able to go into general ed classrooms really kind of, it helps our students. You know, they're not kept separate. So, you know, they'll get fist pumps, they'll get high fives. Savannah has usually had two buddies, and um, but has made a very big um, impact with Dayana. They get along well, they work together well. My partner, Dayana, she, I like her a lot. She's cool, we have like, we always make jokes and stuff. She makes me happy. She keeps me laughing. She's funny. <laughs> she's... She's her own person. She def yes, she definitely she is. She is her own person. Um, she's kind of on that stepping stone where she wants to be part of what the other girls are doing. And she always comes in class and she's like, hey best friend, and, yeah. stuff. <laughs> and then we make a secret handshake. 
the first day I met Carl was at football tryouts uh, back in August. He was a go-getter. He was someone who was just very eager to be on the football team, and we knew from the moment we met him, we, we wanted him on the team. So why did you decide to play football here at East Gardner? Well, I kind of knew I was really wanting to be like an athlete, so yeah. I wanted to try football. What about your teammates? Do you th how, how do you appreciate your teammates? I like them a lot. You like them a lot? What was that game that you made the tackle, you tried to make the tackle, and then you fell out of bounds, and you jumped up, and what did you say to me? I'm good. I'm good, and you said it like, I'm good, coach. I was really, you know, from the beginning of the season all the way to the end, the progress that you made, the effort that you put in, I was just tremendously excited and, and wanted to continue to support that. Are you going to continue to play next year? Yes. Yeah? Carl wants to be a part of everything. Every, um, the All-American kid. Yes. Carl has played football, Carl's tried out for track, he's doing um, the play. The play. And he even advocated for himself for okay. to, to get PE. The other football players, they, they really were incredibly supportive of Carl, and I, and I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. It, that, as a coach and as a teacher, was, was truly one of the best things that I got to, got to witness. My hope for everyone's growth and everyone's mindset change was that more schools will strive to have a program that really allows these kids to interact. I think that the program is helping prepare students just to see that there are a lot of different people in the world. I think it's built for our students this like sense of you know, responsibility. Um, I think it's built this kind of understanding and compassion. Those things will take you far in life.